Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Homestead, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, this video is going to be about me replacing this uh, fuel tank. Um, as you can see right here, my handle was broken on this chainsaw when I got it from Farmer Tech. Uh, this chainsaw it is a John Cutter CSG 5800. So, um, I was going to show y'all today. Uh, how to uh, place this uh, tank if you ever need to. So let's get started here. This is going to be the first time I've ever done it, so it's going to be a you know, learning lesson for me too. And I don't think it should be hard at all. So just going to move that air filter cover. And uh, right off the bat, I can see we're going to have to uh, take this handle off. It's got these uh, Phillips head screws right here. This top here is going to have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, looks like about five. Uh, hex screws. Alright y'all, I did have to take the spark plug out. Sorry, taking that out. So. Alright y'all, uh, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take these uh, little caps here loose. Behind here you're going to have some screws. It's going to be your anti-vibration springs and behind here so just take these little plugs out and um, got one on this side Now I do want, I see something right here, it's going to be just a little bit different. That's coming out of the bottom here, the spring right here, coming out right there. But uh, what I see right here, you're going to have a hex in this upper part right here. It's going to be a hex bolt, so it's not going to be a Phillips screw. Turn it over on this side. You also have a hex screw on this side. All right, um, this is your lock right here. Trigger lock release. I'm gonna remove it. pops right up you have a spring here and this trigger control right here it's got this dial pin so what I'm going to be doing is knocking that out So this uh, outside recoil cover is going to have to come off and we'll just take our X bit right here and take it loose. It's going to have uh, four bolts holding that on. Alright, just take that little filter cover off. Right here, you see right here, you're going to have two uh, caps right here. That you're going to be taking off. I'm going to 
take them out. All right, down in here, there's going to be uh, two Phillips head screws. All right, y'all, next thing I'm going to do is uh, try to fish this uh, line out of this fuel tank here. I've got to take the filter off and pull this line through the gas tank itself. It's so probably going to be one of the harder parts. Just getting that uh, fuel line out. Uh, there's your fuel filter. Alright y'all, I don't know if y'all can see that fuel line right here. You can see it right in here. I'm just going to take my needle nose pliers. Carefully grip it. And I'm going to just apply a little pressure to it. And it should pop on out there. All right. I'll give you a closer look here. What I was talking about. You see how that's made right there? It's got a shoulder on each side. So I just took my pliers, new nose, and just kind of squoze it a little bit and pull it out on it. So I don't you see this uh, Phillips head screw right there. I'm not really sure what that is. I'm fixing to find out, but it's gonna have to come out also. So has a little rubber o-ring up under it. So we'll put that back on that screw. And there's this little vent right here. Go ahead and slip it off. There you go, right there. And these are rubber bushings right here, they gotta come out. Take a screwdriver and kind of work around the edges. Yep. Pop on out just like it right there. This is going to pretty much go back in kind of like the reverse order. Um, I'll go ahead and put this uh, vent valve back on. Now this little screw right here goes in the top. Put that back in.
these uh, rubber bushings. I'll go ahead and put those back in. I'm going to put me a uh, just a little Vaseline around these to make it just a little bit easier uh, assembling there. got them. Alright, next thing I'm going to do, put a little Vaseline on this uh, rubber hose here. Make it a little bit easier going in the, putting that fuel tank on. Got started. I'm gonna go on the inside of my fuel tank here. I'm gonna grab the fuel line and I'm gonna gently pull on it. This has a little collar right here that goes on, and uh, I'm gonna slip that on there first. down in there. A whole lot easier putting on and taking off. Outside here put these two screws back in. Holds the uh, tank. One insulator right here. Bushings. Alright y'all. Next I'm going to uh, put this little filter cover back on. And um, put my recoil assembly back on. Just making sure it engages for it. Tighten everything up here. So hex goes on this side right here. I'm just gonna get these started right there. I ain't gonna tighten them all the way up. Gonna flip it over here. We have another hex boat right here. Goes in the top of it. Screw goes in the bottom here. The next thing I got this uh, chain guard new one and just goes right here and uh, that one bolt put back in there so what I'm doing I'm just going back and forth making sure everything's looking out make sure it's lined up properly and uh, Take my punch and finish it up here. Just gonna take that spring, put it up under that release lever right there. Push down on it and go ahead and uh, engage your throttle all the way down. And slide this handle up under there just like it. Once you get in place there, you can release it. And on the very bottom right here, you're going to have this one Phillips screw that goes right up in here.
line up and check everything before you put your bolts back in it. Ready to put my spark plug back in. Yeah, I'm gonna show you this right here. That's a that little clip I was talking about. This on the spark plug wire. So you got two uh, ends right there, and it squeezes in the spark plug wire itself. The, while I was trying to put it on. That actually came off. So, you know, that's just cheap. That's all you can say right there is cheap. It's just a cheap way of uh, doing something. All right, y'all, I finally got that spark plug wire back on there. That's a uh, terrible design. Um, I'll just be honest with you, that's, I've never seen nothing like it before. But anyway, we'll, we'll see how it works out. Um, you know, I don't, I don't recommend it, you know, just, crazy I don't think it's gonna hold up just be honest we oh just get my handle put on and uh that'll be the last part of this insulation is fuel tank got my fuel tank replaced on this John Cutter G5800 chainsaw and uh, the reason I had to replace it was because the uh, chainsaw had a broken handle on it whenever they shipped it to me so uh, maybe this video will help you out and uh, if you ever have to replace a uh, fuel tank on yours uh, for whatever reasons uh, it's a pretty straightforward process it wasn't really hard and um, the only negative thing I've really seen about this saw is the uh, spark plug wire. Um, that's a really bad design. Um, so. Well, I forgot how many times it took to crank it up, pulls, but anyway, we'll we'll see how it does. Uh, get in some wood, that'd be a separate video. I just wanted to uh, try this out once I got the fuel tank on it, just see if it's gonna run. 
and uh, just want y'all to show y'all the uh, first time running. So appreciate y'all coming along, and as always, friends, y'all have a blessed day. See you later. Bye-bye.